After a relaxing night in the cargo trailer, we made our way north to meet up with my dad. If you've been around since the four-wheel camper days, you've seen us camp with them in their Cirrus 920. Spending time with family is always important to us, so we make every effort we can to cross paths. We finally put our wet bath to its full use, and welcome to Living Large Camping. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in no conversations of Cause I've always been told that things would unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me wrong, I was so mistaken Welcome back to Living Large Camping everybody. We have pulled into our campsite here in Northwest Arkansas meeting up with my dad and stepmom and we are so excited to catch up with them and just spend some quality time here in this beautiful state. We'll be with them for the next couple days so we're so excited about that but for now we're going to spend some quality time and put the camera down and we'll see you guys in the morning. I was never the one to give up the ghost, no I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear and now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Cause I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me want to try forever And I feel so free Oh, my sweet baby And I think to myself And I'm thinking out loud We won't need nothing else For the rest of our time and I know it so well, I will always be by your side. You Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make Her. them better. Good morning. Pretty exciting morning here for us because we are finally headed to unwinterize the camper and fill our water tanks. We've been winterized for the last two months or so because it's been freezing and we've been in Colorado in the snow, but we're finally in some warmer weather, which means we get to get our running water back in the camper. We're going to try to get the water heater going so we can maybe take a shower. Woo! <laughs> We're a little long overdue on that, and we figured it's a great time now since we have dumps here and we have all the fresh water we need. So let's go try that out. Woo! Before we head over there to fill up the tanks, I'm going to take everything out of the bathroom just so it makes it that much easier when we're over there. A laundry bag. <laughs> Time to go fill up. Captured in a photograph, remember how we used to sit in the vines. Yeah, oh. And I can hear you laugh at all. You always said mistakes I left in the past. We are so excited because this means it is time for warmer weather, no more winter camping, and we're ready to thaw out. <laughs> just flipped the hot water tank into normal flow from winterization mode and the pump kicked on so it sounds like it's gonna fill up. It's a six gallon water tank so total we'll have 24 gallons of fresh water. All right so both tanks are full time to put our hose away and then we're gonna go back to camp fire up the water heater and hopefully take a shower.
let the water heater run for about 10 minutes and it's definitely warm enough to at least feel clean. So I'm gonna hop in, take a quick body shower and just reset for the day. Woo! Wow! Shower number one! I don't think the water is steaming hot by any means, but it's definitely warm enough to have a nice shower. And when he comes out, I've got his towel getting warmed up by the heater. How was it? That was a lot better than I was expecting. The water was plenty warm. The shower head leaks whenever you turn it off, so we're going to have to probably get a new one of those. But overall, I don't know why we waited so long to do that. Now it's my turn. Like Connor said, I did not know why we didn't do that before. That was incredible. It got very hot, almost too hot sometimes, but can't complain about that. I'm very clean and ready to start the day. I mean, uh, like the... Well, now that we're all showered and clean, it's time to go walk the big camp loop, warm up a little bit in the sun, and just enjoy this day. My love, you're such a fragile thing, I know. And with the winter comes the ice, the snow. But I'm here. So we're staying at Hickory Creek Park on Beaver Lake in northwest Arkansas. And only one of the loops is open right now where we're camping, but we're walking the rest of the campground. And some of these sites are really pretty. Almost all of them have a water view. And once the season is open, I'm sure it's a really good time here. Just yet. The trees haven't started to shed. Just feel the summer sun <laughs> as it warms our bed. Well, that was a great walk and we're ready for a snack. So we're going to enjoy that outside with his dad and stepmom. And then after we will clean the camper because it is an absolute mess. Yeah, it's pretty gross in here. We still have a lot of our winter clothes, so we're gonna trade some things out and we have to put everything back in the bathroom. It's just long overdue. <laughs> Afraid, but I'm great little snack but now it's time to really buckle down and get this place clean because it's a mess and it's kind of stressing us out a little bit so we're going to go ahead and dive into this get it all cleaned up good as new wow that feels so much better check out how clean it looks <laughs> It looks clean and brand new like it did whenever we filmed the tour just a couple weeks ago, but after driving a couple states and some long days, it was time to deep clean this place, and now we feel so much better. We are leaving camp to just go explore the town nearby, and then we're going to get some barbecue for dinner, so we'll take you guys along for that. Yeah, we're having to drive the truck, which is fine. The Jeep only has two seats in it right now. They have a platform in the back that they store their gear on. So no issue there. We got the camper on us and we're gonna head into town. We just had a great afternoon exploring the North Fayetteville area and we went to a place called Duluth Trading, which I've heard of, but I've never been to one and they had great deals. Ended up getting a new pair of pants for only $9, which that's a steal. And now we're hungry, so we're gonna go get some barbecue. I'm hungry, let's go eat. Mm. Time for some barbecue. Oh, that's ridiculous. 
ridiculous. This looks amazing. I've had barbecue in at least two months, so it's gonna be well enjoyed. It's going to slam. I've got a I am stuffed. That was so good. And we even have leftovers for tomorrow, which is exciting. But now we're going to go back and I think just enjoy the night by a campfire. Someone's afraid he's going to get thrown in. <laughs> we wouldn't do that. It's really cold. <laughs> Temperatures are dropping and that only means it's time for a cocktail. Tonight we are going to make an old fashioned. We haven't made one of these yet and I'm very excited. That's it. We just made a quick little old fashioned. We don't have any bitters, so we just used Old Forester, an orange peel, and Liqueur 43, which we use as simple syrup. So, cheers, guys. Ooh. Nice fire. End the video here guys we hope you enjoyed coming along spending time with connor's dad and stepmom we love camping with them it's always a good time and we even got to use our shower we are very impressed with how fast the water heated up and the fact that i fit actually okay in the shower yeah it's a big game changer for us because now we don't have to rely on going to campgrounds with showers or showering outside if the weather's gross and i'm just excited to fix some things on it so we'll do that in a couple <laughs> weeks but it's going to be a huge game changer when it comes to camping on the road we're here for another night with his dad and stepmom which we're excited for so we hope you guys stay tuned for that next video i think we're going to go explore some of the town a little bit with them to start off next video which will be exciting because we haven't really been in this area in a while hope you've enjoyed camping with us with them as much as we have and thanks again for watching we'll see you guys next week and i hope you have a large day bye guys